Hey everyone, it's good to see you. And if you're new here, welcome to the channel. So I've done a lot of tutorials and guides on essentials that you need to install for a set of Corsa and they mainly revolve around the graphics on a set of Corsa. But today I'm gonna to show you six items that I think you should install and they're essential for getting more enjoyment out of this fantastic game. As ever guys, I just wanna say thank you for all the support you're showing me as I head up to a thousand subscriptions so if you are new here and you do like the channel, click on that subscribe button because it really helps me to grow the channel. Jumping in, the first one up then is HD windshield damage. And guys, as ever with all my videos, all the links will be in the description below. So this is a fantastic little mod that was originally out in 2016 and was updated in May this year. And this mod changes the graphics on the broken windshield on a set of Corsa. Now you can see the before and after pictures here. I don't think it's just the decal, it's actually the way the light reflects through the glass also. Now this is a really simple and quick fix to do, but I'm gonna show you a couple of ways you need to configure as well to actually get to see this. So it's a quick and easy download. And what we're gonna do, we're gonna drop it into a set of Corsa content and textures, and I'm gonna show you exactly where that is. So on the right hand side here is the file that we've actually downloaded and on the left hand side is the Assetto Corsa content and texture volume. Now you can see the new damage glass is the same name as the one that's already in the folder so if we copy that over and just replace it the original damage glass is actually in the file as well so if you do want to change it back then you can do that. That's not all though so what you need to do to actually see the broken windscreen is change this mechanical damage modifier here. Now, if you've got it on Gamer, as I was actually playing on a set of Corsa, it won't actually come up. So you can change it on Gamer, as you can see, you can move the slider there, but just be aware of this, because if you don't change this, whatever kind of damage you'll get, and you will still see some on the car, you won't actually see the broken windscreen. How to test this then? Well, of course, you jump in an old Porsche on Riverside, and you drive as fast as you can at a barrier. So let's do it. Let's see what happens. There you go, there's the broken glass. Now not only does it break the windshield glass and also if it's on some of the older F1 cars it goes around the side of the driver as well, but it also breaks the front glass on the lights as well. So that's pretty awesome. And I know it's only a small thing guys, but these are exactly the kind of little touches that make a set of course a drive exactly as you want it to. So I love this mod. So big shout out to the modder in this and do give a thank you and a shout out when you drop onto their page on Race Department. Next up then is RBS 1.13. Now this is by Dark Type. This is a fantastic mod and it is quite a popular mod on Race Department. Again, the link will be in the description below. And this encompasses a number of different things. So not only have you got some cool new graphics and billboard graphics and some of the decals and some of the actual people and spectators around the tracks, you've also got a number of what I would call seasonal changes to some of the other tracks that you'll have installed on a set of Corsa. So this is fantastic. I'm just gonna show you very basic how to install some of the extra graphics and the billboard graphics, but you can see this has a mini installer with it as well. So what I'm gonna do is just show you the mini installer running outside of the main Assetto Corsa folder, but you would actually put it inside the Assetto Corsa folder to run it. So I'm just gonna do a dry run just to show you how that works. Once the file is extracted and opened, this is what it looks like. And you'll see you've got a jsgme.exe there. Now you would normally run this actually in the folder and the directory of your Assetto Corsa. Once you've done that, you can then choose any of the available mods on the left highlight them and press the arrow and that will install on the right hand side. Now as you can see here in the folder at the top, because I've done this basically in the same install folder, you can see what it actually does. This has extracted a number of tracks. This is the additional graphics that they're gonna put on the tracks. And if I just go into one of them, you can see that these are the decals that it's gonna install. So that's the reason I've shown you this way guys, just to show you actually what it does install. But of course, now I've extracted these files, I can literally highlight them all, copy them, and then put them into the correct game directory under the tracks themselves. So what I'm gonna do is just paste them. So this is pasting into the Steam apps, common, a set of course of content and tracks. And you can see there, it's just added all those pieces of information into the folders. So I've just done it the manual way. The actual executable will do that automatically for you. So just running this amazing Porsche around the track, 
after I've installed these extra graphics, you can see that the billboards and some of the decals have changed now. So this is again just to add realism, but this will add across all of the different tracks that you have got. Remember, this is one small part of what RBS can do. Lots to play about with there. So have a look at it, guys. Download it, really easy to install with the launcher, and then just see how you want to set a Corsa to look. Up next then is another small little mod that just adds a bit more enjoyment to a set of Corsa. It looks really cool. And again, I think it brings a set of Corsa back up to 2020. So this is called Track Previews 3.0. And as you can see, it's just a small graphical update that changes some of the menu system on Content Manager or a set of Corsa. Downloading this is really fast and easy and it's really easy to install too. So when you open the track previews folder up when you've downloaded it, this is what you'll see. Now you'll see these are mostly Kunos tracks. So what we're going to do is just take one. So we're going to choose, um, we're going to go to the Nürburgring and we're just going to actually install just one of these. So a good idea is just to install the ones where you've actually got tracks actually installed on a set of Corsa. So if I open the Nürburgring here, you'll see there's a UI folder there. So what we're going to do is we're going to copy that. We're going to copy that UI folder over to your Steam standard content and tracks folder. So if I just show you where that is here, you will see that you've got a UI folder already in there. What we're going to do though, we're going to paste what we've just copied from the downloaded file. And as you can see on the top left hand corner, it's actually changed the graphics on the track selection screen. Now this is really cool because it shows you where in the world it is and it's just got you know the flag on there and a better version and view of the track and you can see that you've got all the different variations here. So again it's only a small little mod guys but I just think this is really cool if you're playing a lot of a set of Corsa. Next up is a biggie for me and that's MCS TV Campac 1.13. This has actually been around for a while and it's had a lot of work put into it. So again, a big shout out to the modder on this. And what does it do? Well, in essence, it just gives you far better TV cameras on a multitude of tracks. This is again, a really simple copy and paste piece, but do remember on this one guys to back up any of the camera packs you want to keep because this will overwrite what's already in there in the content and system folder. So I'm just gonna copy these over because looking at these TV cameras, they are so better, much quality than the ones that are actually on the standard game. So I'm just gonna replace those 100 files there. I know, pretty awesome. And this is actually the Nürburgring GP GT circuit with the new TV cameras on. Now, you might not see the differences straight away, but as I go through this footage, you will see that you'll have a number of more TV cameras to choose from. The TV cameras seem to track much better, and if you were watching this on TV, if you're actually watching a real race, this is more like you would see it. I think it's far better for you to actually look at your own driving and judge what you've been doing on the track, as well, of course, for all the enjoyment value. So you can see at the bottom here, I'm actually going through the different camera TV types and there are a multitude of them. Close-up ones, distant ones, tracking ones. So lots to play about with there. This add-on will work on a number of the main Kunos tracks and standard tracks. So check it out and give a big thumbs up to the modder. Right then, next one up is Corner Names. Now I love this mod and this just shows you how simple some of these cool mods are. So quite simply, it is what it says on the tin. This will give you the corner names as you're driving around the circuits, if there are corner names or even corner numbers on some of the larger circuits for all of the main circuits. And actually there are hundreds of circuits in this pack. Absolutely phenomenal work, a massive shout out to the modder. So how does this actually work? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna again go to the Nürburgring and we're just gonna copy over each one, one at a time. So I'm just gonna show you one just to show you how it works. So you can see on the right hand side, we've got all of the new pieces of the um, track that we need. And we're gonna copy that over to the main Assetto Corsa folder. And it's saying we're gonna replace a couple of files there. Now there are just a couple of text config files. So here we are in the Porsche. Now what we need to do is we actually need to go onto AC apps and we need to put the track description piece on there. So that you'll see that that pops up there. And what we're actually doing is we're using this to display the corner names as we go around the corners on the track. So let's see how that works in practice. So I'm just gonna drag this down onto the dashboard, make it look something 
um, sensible looks like a little hood there look so let's go and I'm just going to trundle around this track and just show you how it works on these first few corners so just checking on the number of tracks this actually supports its current update this is 231 tracks around the world are supported by this which is a phenomenal amount of work by this modder so as you can see there on the track description the first corner has come up and as we go up to the next complex you'll see that that disappears and the next complex named comes up now again we're always trying to learn the tracks in a better way and especially some of the more obscure tracks so this is a great tool for you to learn a little bit about the tracks that you're racing on and finally the last on the list is sidekick 1.11.1 now i think i'm a little bit late to the party on this i've been driving a set of Corsa for a number of months now and i have seen bits of this on other people's videos but this is a fantastic little hood tool that just gives you so much customization on what you can see in your cars and this is whether you're in the car itself or playing kind of third person so i'll leave you to read all that when you drop onto the page and there's a lot of config that you can do there but what i'm going to do is just show you roughly what it does and how to set it up in a good way so what we're going to do is just download that as per normal and again like a lot of the mods on this list today this is a really tiny mod half a meg now once you've um, downloaded this what you'll see is you'll see that you open the folder up in sidekick and you've got apps and content and then in the assetter Corsa folder you've got apps and content you're literally just going to copy and paste this over so i'm just going to show you this quick manual way of doing it no overwriting files there so that is actually now installed but what we do need to do with sidekick because it's an app we actually need to switch it on so if you click on settings and then you move over to a set of Corsa and then you'll see apps at the top then you will have a number of apps on there and you can see I've got a number of them ticks and not ticks and you can see sidekick at the bottom there now if you can't see it in the game it's because you've not actually clicked that box starting the game then I've clicked on drive and I'm sat in the car ready to go moving the mouse pointer to the right hand side you will see that you've got the apps at the top and you're going to click on sidekick now sidekick here is already configured to start up and it's ready to go as you can see as i rev the engine but you've got two other options here for sidekick the first one allows you to reset a couple of the config pieces so you can change that you know how many miles you've driven or kilometers you've driven and then the second one gives you the most options which is there are on and off switches here for all of the different things that sidekick is showing so sidekick is really pulling information from the back of the game and just putting it into one very simple easy place for you so have a play about with that because there are many things that you can do it one of my friends bobo who does tons of car videos on a set of course he uses this and i've seen it on his videos and wondered where he got it from so a big shout out to bobo the bandit okay then as you can see as i'm driving that you can see the throttle response you can see the brake response what you're doing with your steering gears how fast you're going all sorts of different things even temperatures and pressures for your tires so this is a cool little app and i can't believe i've not found it until now so this is sidekick and this is the last on my list great little app download it and give a big shout out to the modders So guys, that was my top six essential apps that you may not know about. I had a good dig around to find those for you. And that's what I try and do on the channel. I try and find things that you may find interesting or something you want to install to make a set of Corsa a better game than it is. And hopefully give you a bit of entertainment along the way. Guys, I just want to thank you again for watching the video. It's great to see you here today. And if you are new and you do like the channel or the video, clicking on that subscribe button really helps me to grow the channel. Also, my next video release is my 100th video release. I cannot believe that's come around so quick. So I'm going to do something a little special in a few days' time. So do check out the channel for that. I'll see you all very soon.